Hey gang, welcome to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. This week we've got the 2004 film, Elevator. The premise of Elevator is that we follow this psychic girl who lives in this strange, uh, almost 1984-ish future, and she accidentally starts this fire by smoking a cigarette, and smoking is illegal. So she goes and hides out in this uh, elevator. Now what's important here is that in this future, everyone seems to live in this giant building that's you know, over 200 stories tall or something. And she's just in this elevator with just these random people, and they're very strange. There's a brain in a, like, tube, um, a mom with a baby, a businessman with a case, and, like, this cool guy with uh, headphones on. So they're all in this elevator together, and eventually they're going up, and uh, a rapist and a uh, bomber are put inside the elevator as well with their armed guard. So um, the conflict of the movie is what's going to happen when, when these two guys get in the elevator and obviously you know uh, it can't be anything good. For me, Elevator is a rather average film. While there's certainly some parts of the movie that I absolutely loved, such as the wonderful costumes, the very creative and zany characters, it certainly gave off a very anime manga vibe. And if you're looking for a movie that's kind of like a live action anime, uh, you'll do well to find a copy of Elevator. Uh, also, the dystopian future, kind of strange Big Brother watching you, was also really nice to see in a Japanese film. However, uh, a lot of the actors on this film, this was their first and for many of them only movie that they've ever been in. And the director himself, this was his second film that he directed. So take that into consideration. For me, I felt some of the performances were a little uh, stiff or over the top. But I guess, you know, it's a movie called Elevator. How, how serious can you expect it to be? But yeah, and there are some scenes of some gore in there and the story is relatively interesting but the movie does suffer some pacing problems uh, it's far too boring in places I did fall asleep watching this one the first time as well and some of the special effects are a little cheesy and they seem to be ripping off the matrix but what can you do the DVD was brought over by Tokyo Shock and they have a good deal of extras on there you've got some making of uh, featurettes there's some interviews with the uh, director and the cast and the theatrical trailer. So all in all, it looks good, it sounds good, there's some nice extras. So yeah, Tokyo Shock did a good job here. If you're looking for a rather strange and offbeat Japanese horror film, then certainly I think you should give Elevator a shot, especially if you're into anime and manga. Uh, the zany characters uh, give the film a lot of personality, and there are some really funny moments in there as well. Shame it didn't all come together, but still at the end of the day, it's pretty different from everything else that's out there, so I have to give it props for that. So thanks a lot for joining me on this review, and we will see you next time. What happens when you put the members of Right Said Fred and Wham in an elevator together? It is a horror that is unknown to man. It is... Sonic Race. Love the music in that game, but man, that was not good. Mm -hmm.